The story of Jesus as told in the Gospels gives us very little information about his childhood. The few accounts we do have are about his preparation. Luke provides a glimpse of the 12-year-old boy staying behind in the temple, his father's house. And it is in this story that we see Jesus beginning to grasp his true identity and the significance of his calling. We hear nothing more about Jesus for at least 18 years, at which point John the Baptist appears on the scene to prepare the people for the Messiah. To his great surprise, Jesus tells John to baptize him, and in so doing, Jesus demonstrates perfect obedience to the Father and identifies himself with the very people he came to redeem. This beautiful scene culminates as the Father speaks words of blessing over the Son and the Spirit rests on him. And that same Spirit led Jesus into the wilderness and after a period of fasting and prayer, when he was hungry, weak, and vulnerable, the enemy tempts Jesus to take the easy way out and avoid the cross. But Jesus demonstrated as he would over and over again that nothing would dissuade him from perfect obedience to his Father. Finally, we see Jesus emerge from the wilderness and make the strategic decision to head north into Galilee, where he would choose 12 very ordinary young men to become his disciples. 12 men that he would invest in, teach, train, and then set loose in the world with the power of his Holy Spirit to spread his message and continue his mission. And now the message and the mission remain the same. He is still calling people to follow him. That is why we are here, and that is why we study his story.